friends and colleagues, enemies and haters. I've got another one. I guess it's from eBay. Very well wrapped, perhaps too well, because it's a little ridiculous, but all right. A bit much. Let's see, I don't know what this is. No idea. Got a bunch from eBay, usual. Have more watches than I know what to do with. Such a difficult problem to have, you know? Lose sleep over it. Ugh. So I think I know what this is. It is a a Festina. All right, let's get this one open. Okay, some manuals. Oh, it's going to be a chronograph. I like that. There's another thing of beauty. All right, let's watch this video. The Festina Corporation was originally founded in 1902 by the Studi family in Switzerland. In 1935, the brand was sold to businessman Willy Burkhard von Wilhelm, whom during World War II moved the company to reestablish itself in Barcelona, Spain. In 1975, George Ullman, an entrepreneur with a significant presence in the Spanish and Italian markets, acquired the firm. The company later changed hands again in 1984 to Miguel Rodriguez from La Línea de la Concepción, acquiring the Festina brand and all of its rights. Currently headquartered in Barcelona, Spain, the brand has remained true to its heritage and exemplifies both quality and value. Derived from the Latin Festina Lente, the name means make haste slowly, a phrase that according to Roman historian Suetonius is attributed to Augustus Caesar. Walk slowly if you want to arrive at a well-done job sooner. Festina has continued to grow in the past several decades, acquiring numerous additional manufacturers and brands, forming what is now known as the Festina Group. These brands include Jaguar, Candino, and Perlet, which are all Swiss-made watches. The Festina brand exemplifies both lifestyle and excellence in its watch lines. In 1992, Festina became the official timekeeper of the Tour de France until 2016, having supported the race for nearly 25 years. Festina continues to remain closely linked to the world of cycling as a sponsor and timekeeper of other important cycling events, including Tour de Spain, Tour of Britain, among others. More recently, Festina hired actor Gerard Butler as an ambassador of brand and image of its campaigns worldwide. This has positioned the brand towards the prestigious lifestyle. Elegance, strength, distinction, and charisma are the qualities representative of the Festina brand. Excuse me, do you have the time? Hey. Where I watch. Where I watch. Where I watch. Zindagi mein agar kuch karna hai to waqt ki izzat karna seekho beta. Waqt hi insaan ko sab kuch deta hai. Where I watch. Where I watch. Where I watch. Where I watch. Why is this young man not wearing a watch? He's not wearing a watch. He's not wearing a watch. He's not wearing a watch. Okay. Six o'clock. One, two, three, eight! When you're running around, it is! I wanna find the thing that you really want. That's right. The moment you stop, baby! All right. So, I always like that commercial. I think it's pretty cool. So let's just get right into it. This is a Festina, and for those who don't know, it is a originally a Swiss company, I think 1902. I'll correct myself on anything I say incorrectly, 
but I believe they were founded in 1902. Uh, and it is officially a, so they call themselves an international company, but really it's a Spanish company. They're from Barcelona, Spain. That is where their headquarters is. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this watch brand. There's a lot of affordable and really nice Vecina watches. They're probably a little less affordable to me, uh, maybe either from the exchange rate or the shipping. Uh, they're not as common in the United States, but I am a huge fan of them and I definitely like them. Now this one is a chronograph. Um, and before I get too much into some of the other stuff, I'm just going to talk directly about the movement itself. Now, I don't remember, you're probably wondering why you don't see any hands moving. This particular movement uh, does not have a second hand. The central second, as you see it, is actually the chronograph. And I will go ahead and start it. It's the usual, the top one, you know, as if like it was a stopwatch. The top one is uh, to engage. And you'll see um, pretty nice indicators. Not perfect, but you know, if I put it at this angle, it looks perfect. On the slash every bit. Actually, that's probably pretty good. So, um, this particular move does not have a second hand. It, it is all chronograph. The sub hand, the sub dial at three o'clock, at, excuse me, at three o'clock represents the, um, it represents the 24 hours. So, uh, you know, you can see right now it's like it's 1600 because it's like four o'clock and the hand at the nine o'clock location is for how many minutes uh, beyond, let's see, you know, I guess it can do up to an hour, right? 60 minutes. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I had to look. Um, but it's very nice. I love this watch strap. It is 100% leather. It's got Fasina on both sides, just in case you forget. And the case back is actually quite nice too. And I'll put a, uh, I'll, I'll put throughout the video, I'll put this up at the top there so you can see it. It's covered. I don't know if I want to remove it yet, but uh, it's really nice. And it's also, also on the front. Sorry, let me clean that. Oh, yeah, I guess that's how I got it. Let's see. There we go. Much better. Um, nothing on the side, but you know, it doesn't, you don't need it to be too tacky. So yeah, so that's how the movement works. Um, I will put pictures of the movement up here so you can see it. It's actually a very good movement. I have another watch like that, and I'll also uh, display that one later. I think it's, it's not the VK64. That one's a little different. That one's the Mechanicorts. But if I'm not mistaken, the uh, movement, the watch that I have that shares this movement, I believe is my watch from... Oh, I forget the name, but I'll post a picture of it, uh, and I also have a video, and I will put the link all the way at the top for that. So, all right, but let's get into some of the measurements. So I'll just start doing that now. I kind of do stuff out of order. I apologize. I'm going to say 43. No, 42. Okay, and I'm going to say 22. 21, look at that. I'm probably 12. Uh, 11, we can say it's a good 11. Yeah, there we go. Ever so slight bevel on the, on the glass, which is funny, interesting. All right, and the lug to lug is 42. All right, it's not bad, let's check the weight. this I'll say 65 so it's a good weight but you know man I really like this watch strap it's it's brand new but it looks weathered uh, I don't know what you would call this um, I can't really read most of it I, I mean yo entiendo espanol pero yo hablo muy malo but I'll look at the manual and see if I can figure out what kind of what kind of strap this is um Let's see, the, I assume that is the MSRP, it says 129, 129 euros. So I'll try and do the conversion down here. 
Uh, I paid, I paid less. I think I paid about a hundred dollars, hundred U.S. dollars. I'll put a picture of of it right up here, so you can see. But either way, well worth it. This is a very classy watch. It's not too big. It's not ridiculous. It's a good subtle watch. This is something that I would I would wear. Um, you know, probably too hot for Florida to wear out in the sun. This probably be something I'd wear in the office. But still, it's nice. I like it. Uh, and I'm interested to see what that loom looks like. So let me check that out. Uh, it's it's light out. It's actually getting ready to, to thunderstorm uh, here in Tampa. But what I'll do is I'll just take a picture, see what it looks like now, and then later I will put up a picture up at the top so you can see it right on on the right side there. Which I'll take after the fact. All right, let's see what that looks like. Can't see anything. Interesting. I wonder if the, the loom is just dead or if it's just not very good. But we'll see. I'll put a picture and see what I can get it to do. Maybe there's no loom, so it's possible. All right. So, uh, 50 meter water resist. Uh, it is a chronograph. You can't really expect much from there. It's... Um, it's decent, right? So if you needed to, you could shower with it. I really wouldn't go swimming with it. 50 meters, you technically can, but it's pretty much as good as you just being able to do the dishes and being caught in the rain. Um, there's a bezel here, but it doesn't turn. It's really just for looks. Uh, what else can I talk about? It is not a screw down crown, but still looks nice either way. Uh, 316 stainless steel, of course. Uh, it's quite nice, uh, everything sort of, the the buckle and the case of 316 stainless steel. Uh, it feels good, does not feel too heavy, but it doesn't feel cheap, right? And again, with this strap, it's not not the same as some of those really thick ones, like from Horween and some of the new ones you see, but uh, still very, very nice. It's got the date at the 6 o'clock location. Um, not much else I can say about this, but I do like it. It is a looker. And it is going to be another one that I keep. I don't keep all my watches, but this is one that I can keep. I mean, look at that. It just goes so well. This strap goes so well with the face and the dial. So, all right. If you like this review, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this or have some recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. And I really do appreciate a subscribe. Thank you very much.